Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm gonna try and cover a couple of things. Uh, since I haven't made the video in a while, I mean I did upload something yesterday, but I was uh, just me trolling space time. Uh, I was meant to do this video yesterday actually, but never got around to it. Because I've been grinding on uh, on Great Autosport on PS3, trying to get them trophies. Uh, it's gonna take forever. Especially the online ones, which I haven't even started, and I'm struggling to start because I can't deactivate my account. Sony is being a little bit annoying. Uh, so yeah, I'll sort that out at some point, hopefully. If not, I'll just do the offline trophies and move on. Uh, so, okay, let's do this. I'll get those as well. I'll get those. So yesterday we did have some extra events released, which I think they were announced on Friday or Saturday, maybe. Don't remember. Um, so yeah, in terms of not online, nothing really, not much going on this week. Uh, they added yesterday the crazy slot machine and the Titan recharge because I guess they didn't see much money coming in on Thursday and Friday, maybe. So they announced these extra ones. This Platinum re Recharge is um, particularly bad, in my opinion. Considering you're doing uh, 4 days of 4,000 ingots a day, that's a lot um, a lot of money, especially uh, given the current uh, situation all around this. So, yeah, you don't, you know, I, I don't see that being anywhere close to uh, worthwhile. But, you know, if people still have money to burn, fair enough, but I can't really say any good things about this uh, this Platinum Recharge. Crazy slot machine, the usual. I know somebody did get first prize for my survey yesterday. Uh, I don't even know what first prize... Oh, Shisui Susano. I haven't seen him transform into Shisui, though. I wonder what he's gone for. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a sold account, and the new player doesn't have a clue how to play. Um, it's so so bad, but still recharges every week. Every crazy slot machine he spins on it. Um, doesn't get involved in chat or anything. I don't know, it's just one of those weird players uh, that doesn't seem to have much of a brain on their head. Anyway, I'm not one to talk. As from from Thursday, yeah, the seven days of welfare. Uh, there were some free ones there, like oh, I didn't like that one. Uh, like this one, instances. Uh, I didn't bother with it. The rewards aren't great, but it's it's okay if you've got the time to do it. Uh, I wouldn't do those spins though. The arena ones, I actually did the arena on my main account, but I did forget to do it on the first day the instances. I didn't notice till too late, I guess. There was another, uh, this one, the ranked battle. Uh, I didn't do it on my main. It would have been easily done, and I need more scrolls, so I was a bit annoyed about it. I only realized like 12 o'clock in the morning or something that I had missed it. So that was a bit of a. Well, annoying, like I said. Um, these ones, I don't recommend any of them. And tomorrow, I don't know what it is. Tomorrow is the uh, refined one that you get on the. On, on this side, I think, yeah, or is it this side, I don't know, no, no, it's on that side, yeah. Uh, so yeah, some people are waiting for the last side to do the refines, because you've got to refine your bait going on. I've already done mine, because over the past few, over well, the past few weeks I've missed a few Wednesdays altogether, I barely did any dailies, I barely logged into the game, and I've got a feeling tomorrow could turn out to be the same. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna, I, I didn't want to risk it, so I did it on first day or second day, I think second day actually, I think on Friday I did my refine, so I got my first level 13. Uh, which I think was already that one there. So yeah, that's my first level 13, everything else is level 10. Uh, it's gonna be a few months before I get another level 13 for sure. Probably October, November. Depending on how much I spend, kind of thing, uh, and that is the theme that I'm running at the moment. Uh, there might be a video about it at some point. I mean, maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. 
I've got videos to make from la from early last month, the beginning of March that I haven't managed to edit yet. Plus there's a few more awakenings from Bleach that I want to do, maybe the odd grid video, although I'm focusing on a grind on grid rather than actually recording footage, but I do have some footage to just maybe edit or maybe just put it together when I finish the game, I haven't decided what to do. I just try to put some content every now and then to keep the channels going. Uh, not overly uh, concerned about it, I'd rather be gaming uh, obviously than actually be uploading content and editing, I've, I've said that many times in the past. So. Yeah, there's that um, Seven Days of Welfare cover, two of Mario deals, which it's okay if you have the 25k and yeah, you type Minato or you want to 5 star him and detach Shiado. I'm not doing that to my main account because I don't have use for most of the things here, including the fragments. Yes, I would love an orb, of course. Yes, I would love a couple of cave key packs, uh, those whatever, and the refines, I obviously need them. But it's not worth for 25k coupons, so I'm skipping it yet again. I think I'm about to 100k coupons on my main account just because uh, I haven't done the past few focus and I haven't spent it on, on anything else really. Color banner, I used to do this or I've done this in the past, but I, there's no nothing that I'm really after. So, so I'm skipping that as well. I'm literally just trying not to spend including coupons at the moment unless it's something really worth it, something that I need. Yes, obviously I'm falling behind, but no, that's fine. Who cares? Uh, time limited shop, so if you spend ingots you get some points. Uh, not an awful lot you can redeem here, but obviously protection and runes are useful and the refines will be the second uh, well, Actually, for me, it would be the most important thing here, but it really depends on you after. Some cocoons of frags or daedra. They, they're still kind of okay, you can still use them really, despite the current changes in, uh, in meta. And command flags if you need them. That's, I think, what the best redeem out of these packets is, rather than the 10 potions or the one cultivation field. But if you need the others to finish uh, one of your. Uh, top, uh, let's say, uh, Anonoki or, or the critical one, 1010. You know, if you need some cultivation build, I guess you could redeem them, redeem them. But if you need flags, get the frag, flag fragments. That's what I'd suggest. And these ones are <laughs> just. I don't know why this is even here. I swear to God. Um, total spending rebate. Again, not really worth it, especially as I don't see anything where you can just spend ingots on. So 30k ingots, I've got the 100k coupons, so see how much I have to go through to get to the ingots. And uh, I don't need Kimimaro, I don't really need Madara Chief Founder, yes I, I want a 5 star him, but I'm nearly dead as it is. So yeah, it's not really worth for me, and 500 potions will obviously be nice. And obviously all these runes I could really do it, definitely don't need this charm, so nothing to incentivize me to spend there like I made a comment uh, or earlier uh, I edited or not edited it was that from the beginning the description all of the video that I posted yesterday this is just bad planning from Oasis in terms of full dwells like for me Sharingan, Corrego and others there's nothing here for us it's like we're gonna lose all those rewards just to get the epic refines well I won't turn up, I don't care and I know Corregu isn't, but I know others aren't. Yeah, some people are still, some whales are still using, especially new ones, they still need those things. So. Well, I think they're losing more than, than they're actually making. And this uh, Lucky Stars, 100 uh, Susanoo fragments, Susanoo Shiso, good luck with that. In terms of routine, you get those, choose whatever you, you need from it, and, and potions be what I personally would like. Uh, I don't think I'll get that, so I'll probably redeem uh, Kurenai. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna get one fragment of Kurenai, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't think I can get pushing that. But if you need things from that, it's obviously yeah, don't count on getting uh, Shisui, but you'll get some potions and you get some refines, so it's okay, really. Uh, maybe I'd do some if I didn't have to use my coupons and that. But. Lucky Snash is here, you can get uh, Kabuto Sage Mode, which is an okay ninja, it's not used much. I, I think there was something wrong with one of his moves that wouldn't actually work as intended. 
Um, seen that on Forma. I never, I never chased it. I did know it at one point, but I, I never double checked. But he's, you know, he's whatever. Then everything else here is, eh, just whatever you get really, just by luck. Can't remember what's on these packs, but it is on the forums if you're interested. Well, at least I hope it's on the forums anyway. Lucky board is still a pretty good free to play, especially for starting servers. All the servers, not so much, but there's people on low power. I mean, even me on this account, uh, 330k, I can still use uh, things from here. In fact, I have spin there. I've done a uh, few redeems on refines because of the refine rebate. Sadly, I kind of am a bit short to get the 500, is it? Yeah, for the pill. And I don't think I'm going to make it, to be honest. So, yeah, as you can see there, I'm, I need 200 between today and tomorrow. I don't think I can get 200. Um, I really don't see that happening. I've got epic refines, like nearly 400, but I don't have any level 10s here, so I can't use those to finish the rebate. But that's a bit frustrating. Uh, time limited refinement, I guess, yeah, whatever. Um, cultivation limited rebates, and again, this on accounts if you're actually using coupons or ingots. It, if you have like 500 from spinning on slot or whatever in your backpack, those do not count towards this, which is really a stupid rebate. And Naruto Traumin Party, number 10. I don't even know what I'm redeeming. Oh, yes, I'm redeeming Kushina fragments on this account. On my main account, I think. I think I haven't decided, if I remember correctly. It's probably going to be a little Yagura train to get him to 5000 at some point. It's going to be a long process, of course. And what else have we got here? Telepacks, whatever. Um, spin that, monthly card. So, that's it. Obviously, Frog is still here for people that bore it on the last day last week, on Wednesday. And that is about it. And I'm gonna put this account now on to do, do, do. the hot springs. You see my main is already yeah, I've just been there for about an hour while I was searching for some stuff to talk about. Um so yeah, next just a quick things a uh, quick look at what's been going on. Um some discounts on um on Steam, See, Alien Isolation has been brought to you by Jonathan Irwin from Exclusively Games, uh, which I use every now and then when I've got time to uh, read articles about um, about gaming stuff, about games, rather than using mainstream uh, outlets, which tend to be quite biased and uh, getting overly political, and I, I don't not a fan of that. So since I was one of the backers uh, for because of the big games, when I do have time, I tend to check them out. I don't think there was anything else here. Mostly I checked. I decided because Jonathan Irwin mentioned Alien Isolation, I decided to check uh, special offers on Steam. So this is one of the games that it is in discount on discount uh, and discount on Steam. Jeez, can't speak. Uh, and that is quite a lot in this council of people uh, who are at home and don't have games to play. There's quite a lot here. Uh, some really cheap ones like Alien Isolation, 1.50. Uh, that's less like $2. Uh, it is very, very cheap. I think some of the DLC for it is, is really cheap as well, according to... The article and what I did, I did I didn't read the the, uh, the whole article actually, but I did I found then on Steam when I went to the next page, so your yeah, DLC is seventy five percent off. So what I found after is that there's another alien which is it's page two. Alien versus Predator uh, is. At 80 percent off, uh, also at 1.99. So there's a few games there for about two dollars, and but there's there's many other discounts though. Uh, obviously, this you know, Borderlands free and all that's still quite expensive. But if you're looking for a game to play for a few more days before you get back to work or back to college and things like that, uh, there's all types of games there. Total War Run 2. I know this is a game fairly played. Even that one, but still, you know. 13 quid, still quite a lot. 
games for six quid, six twenty Phantom Brooklyn, no ID, never heard of it. Two more, obviously, do your own research on the games. Total War Shogun 2, 199. There's a lot about this Total War Shogun 2. Maybe I should check the game out. It's a shame I don't have the time. Uh, a little of Total War Attila, 749. I thought Turmoil was just on the first page, but apparently it's it again. Yeah, it's an indie game. This might be worth checking out, especially for that price. And if you get a few hours gameplay out of it for that money, you know, I, I call it worth it. Definitely worth it. Uh, and there's, as you see, there's more discounts. Uh, I did have a quick look at... Um, I did open that page to see what Alien vs. Predator, because it's a bit of an older game, still from 2010, and you can still, you see the reviews there are uh, very positive, whether it be recent ones or uh, older ones. I haven't played the game. I think I owned some Alien games on PlayStation 3, um, that I got with Plus back in the day, but I haven't gotten around to play it, and maybe never will. But if I did have the time, I certainly would. The DLC is also uh, on discount here, so you could get for 15, 23, like everything. Wow. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. And GOG, I didn't put this in spe any specific order, did I? Like, I'm not familiar with the site. I think this is only the second time that I visited this site. Uh, but there's a few games on discount, like 199 there for some. Proper Medal of Honor games before Electronic Arts screwed up the fr franchise. Uh, you've got Allied Assault War for $1.99 and you've got Pacific Assault $1.99 as well. So they're, they're definitely worth $1.99, no questions asked. Then there's a few other games here for $1.99 that I'm not familiar with, so do your own research. Maybe you know the names. Brothers in Arms. Now this game. Um, I came across a video on Ga Gamer Rants or Game Rants or something like that on YouTube that mentioned this game. I think it was about uh, historical accuracy or something. And I think this is one of the games that was there. Or at least one of the franchise games. I don't specifically remember Road to Hill 30 being mentioned, but Brothers in Arms are definitely there. Uh, there's a few other games there. Again, I'm not familiar with them, but you might be check them out. For 199, 159, whatever it is, going to be uh, worth if you can get a few hours of gameplay on it. And that brings me to the last news. Uh, well, well, might be news. It's been out for a day and a half or so. Some outlets have been talking about it. Uh, the Last of Us 2. And the reason why I'm going to bring this up is also because, or well, one of two reasons, is because The Last of Us 1 was one of my favorite games. And I absolutely loved it. I loved the multiplayer. Uh, loved the story, uh, loved pretty much everything about it, to be entirely honest. And I'm one of those people that was like, okay, yeah, maybe a second game will be interesting, but maybe they should uh, just leave it as it was. A standalone game, great game. Obviously, companies want to make money. So they decided to, oh, okay, a lot of the fans want the second game, and how will they release the second game? Even though I believe some of the devs would have to search that, don't quote me on it, but I think it was said before, long before um, they confirmed that they were going to do a second one, that the first one is just, you know, that game was just going to be that game, it was a one game. Um, but obviously changed their mind later because they, um, like I said, they want to make money. And maybe they did it for the fans, maybe, no, no, but I don't, I don't believe that for a second. And recently, do you, I don't know if you're still an employee or an ex-employee, um, but somebody that worked or still works at the company has leaked some information. And there's a few outlets covering this as of yesterday. But there's a few videos. I think I watched one from Young Ye. I've watched one from. Was it The Quartering? I can't remember. There's another video that I watched about it for sure. Um, and yeah, there's uh, there's been a lot leaked. And also was called a storm on Twitter with a lot of the fans. Even the fans that perhaps the game was pandering to. Um, not actually liking what they saw. So I'll be interested to, to see what... It will be in general interesting to see how the game performs when it comes out. Um, this tweet from Naughty Dog I wasn't aware of, because yesterday when I uh, saw uh, the videos and when I saw the first coverage of it from multiple people, Naughty Dog still not had come out to mention anything. Sony had come out with a tweet saying about the release date and, and whatever for the Naughty Dog. 
well, Naughty Dog's game, but nothing about the um, uh, the bloody dumpster fire that's been going on. But it seems that they have put a, a, a tweet uh, yesterday at some point. I've got no idea, 7.31 p.m., but I've got no idea what time zone that would have been. Um, so they've actually addressed it um, by saying, We know the last few days have been incredibly difficult for you. We feel the same. It's disappointing to see the release and sharing of pre-release footage from development. Do your best to avoid spoilers, and we ask that you don't spoil it for us, or for others, sorry. The Last of Us Part 2 will be in your hands soon, no matter what you see and hear. The final experience will be worth it. I mean, probably. Uh, the game will look amazing, I'm sure of it. The story, I'm starting to have some doubts now. I haven't checked the leaks, but I probably will at some point, because I'm not planning on playing the the, uh, the game. Like I said, the first one was it. It was an amazing game, and I want to leave it at that. I don't want to ruin it. Um, that I don't. I don't want to have anything ruining it for me either. I like playing a second, a second game that I may not like. So yeah, maybe down the road, two, three years down the road, if the game comes for free or whatever, maybe I'll get it. But I will not be buying it. That much is assured. Probably watch some gameplay of it. Yes, most certainly will. Some reviews of it. Yes, I will definitely check them out. But I don't know if there's. I don't want to really spoil anything for anybody. Um, but there's a few articles on Amara. This one is from Games Radar, which I haven't actually read. I just brought it up uh, for the sake of um, mentioning the subject. So yeah, it's really sad to see that um, you know Naughty Dog has been having some issues with uh, with employees. It's not a new thing, especially uh, with regards to crunch. Uh, there's a few other issues there probably as well. But it is what it is. Um, they do make uh, amazing games, and I do like them for it. But perhaps they uh, should, I don't know, maybe for example, just have a longer development time. And don't put the employees through um, through so many hours and, and all sorts of things. Uh, that's just my opinion. Obviously, I don't know. I don't work for them. So, uh, but yeah, that will be it for today. Thanks for um, checking out the video. Thanks for all your support as usual, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.